Hello and welcome to Dare to Dream on Football Manager 2021. A big thanks to everybody who's been supporting the project over the weekend as we've got it completed. Also, thank you to everybody who's been super patient whilst we've um, sorted it out for this new game. And uh, welcome to the Dare to Dream with Djibouti YouTube channel. Never thought I was going to say that, but uh, yeah... It's actually proper nice to have its own place on the, on the internet. I'm really excited for this uh, year. And I think a lot of people are. Uh, I, I didn't expect that amount of uh, traction. And we need a setup video, don't we? That's why I'm here. Uh, because there's going to be a lot of inexperienced people. Uh, Football manager players may be picking up the game for the first time and they have no idea what is going on. So, I'm going to get through uh, initial setup, okay? Then we're going to add the graphics pack. That'll be job done. Then we're going to flick through the 130 teams available in the uh, database. Maybe you can choose a favourite for Dare to Dream Live. Got it? All you experienced football manager players out there, you probably won't need the start, the... The first portion of this video but please stick around if you're new to football manager you might want to have a look at the clubs we're going to flick through them yeah nice oh um for this i have removed the graphics pack myself so we'll be applying it uh, we'll be doing exactly what i hope you guys do so just just follow me step by step we're on the uh start screen for football manager i've got some drink yes on the start screen for football football manager but that's not really where you want to be going in the uh, first bit we actually want to find your football manager 2021 directory now on pc it'll go and look like that unless you have been messing around with the directories which you won't have okay you definitely won't have it'll be under your username document sports interactive and football manager 2021 now on Mac, it might be a little bit different. You might want to consult Mr. Google on that. Uh, but you'll you'll realize where when you've got there because most of these folders will already be popping up for you, okay? Uh, you might need to add graphics. You might need to add editor data. If you subscribe to Dare to Dream with Djibouti on the Steam Workshop, editor data will already be there with the .fmf file dare to dream slash Djibouti 130 teams. That bit will be absolutely fine. If for whatever reason I decide to drop this file onto the internet so people can download it bypassing Steam Workshop, you might need to create an edited data file and stick the, the, stick the file that we've highlighted here into the folder. Cool. Make sure you've got graphics as well, okay? Just make sure you get that graphics folder sorted. We'll be back uh, doing the graphics in a bit. But really, that, that file, the .fmf file, is what we're, uh, what we're going to set up now, okay? And it will take a little bit of time. Just a word of warning. This setup will take a little bit of time. But once you get into the actual game and save the game up, it will load as quickly as any other game. So you want to get this part right. Follow my follow my steps, instructions. I'm going to hold your hand through all of this. So you're not kicking yourself by the end of it thinking, oh, I should have done this. And you have to do like reload the entire database up again. That, that's nightmarish nightmarish scenario uh your football manager loading page home page might look a little bit different to this we are running a skin renzi v2 um because it, it shows off the club logo and the club kit quite clearly uh for the back end of this video but most of the drop downs that we need uh are in the exact same place they will definitely have the exact same wording exactly the same wording so, ready to go? Start a new game. And um, highlight career. Yep, click on it. Career game setup. Your database 21.4.0. Now, that's the database 
that we'd been working on to get it get it um all nice and sorted. I have uh, I'm pretty confident it working on later database updates if they want to update the database. I think this will be it for Football Manager 2021, but I'll be very confident if they uh, update it. Uh, but if it somehow has conflicts with a future update, get it back to 24, 21.4, okay? On the database drop down, you'll see editor data files, one enabled. Because you won't have uh, disabled Data Dream at this point if you've um, subscribed to it, I think, on uh, Steam Library, Steam Workshop. Yeah, got there in the end. Uh, if it, if it, for instance, if for whatever instance it is unticked, get it ticked. This is the one, okay? Don't be worried about the fact that I've got loads of test files here. They were um, pretty important in the making of the database. You should only have one. It should be Dare to Dream slash Beauty 130 teams. Get it ticked. One enabled. If you are more experienced on Football Manager, maybe you can uh, throw more editor data files in, but uh, just for you new guys, um, you want to have a great experience on Football Manager, you only need that. Don't worry about anything else. Do not worry about anything else. Confirm it. Advanced setup. I've also, like, uh, streamlined this to be uh, pretty useful on uh, low-performance PCs as well. So not only will it be an amazing save for you guys, but it'll also run really smooth. Like, okay, my, my PC is very good. It got through nine seasons in, like, 90 minutes, two hours, which is just blisteringly fast. Um, add and remove leagues. Out you go, out you go. Select Djibouti and only Djibouti on the add and removes leagues. Uh, lower league two and above playable. That's all eight divisions, all 130 teams at your disposal. Down on the advanced options, you need, absolutely need to take add players to playable teams. And I would strongly suggest, if you are new to the game, disable player attribute masking. I've played football manager for so long and i think i would still suck if player attribute masking was on uh it is it's for the hardcore very very hardcore players that all right approximate player count on the right let's drop this down and go on advance now your database side should be at large and then continents we want to add all the continents up you will be able to do with that for this drop down here, let me just take Africa as an example. Let's just add Africa back in. Africa will be down at the bottom for me now. All continents should have current international players ticked. Okay. And then we'll have nations. You add Djibouti through this drop down. You might need to change countries in usually it starts in europe because most of the main saves most of the popular saves are in europe you might need to change that to africa then Djibouti will be there you want players of nationality ticked okay this gives you a good experience playing at club level and also internationally all right you won't see many blank faces you might not have a clue what blank faces are but like re like default players like placeholder players probably the best way to put it before you press ok have a check on the approximate player count you should have something around 21,050 I think it, it loads up a bit more than 21,050 it underestimates how many teams there are in this uh, Djibouti league system but you see it estimated game speed 5 star mine breezes through it uh, also, game speed is impacted on how many active nations you've got. There you go. Uh, with you competing in the African Champions League, for instance, and there's only, what, South Africa available as your other African uh, league, there's not really much point of adding any other active nations, in my opinion. Maybe France. There is a connection between France and Djibouti. Uh, but whilst I had it on, I think... I only got one Djiboutian from a French team, so honestly, 
not not much not much in uh not much worth in it like when you get to like the club world cup if you ever advance to that stage the big clubs will have like full rosters anyway because of the large database side size so you don't need to worry at this stage if you've got this setup if you're happy with that setup you press start game if you're a bit experienced you might tweak around with it you might maybe if you're super hardcore you might take that tick off i strongly suggest not but once you're happy with everything, you press start game. That's when the waiting starts. That loading bar will freeze about a fifth of the way across. Just leave it. It's going to take an hour. I, I'm telling you, it's going to take a while. Get a drink. Chill out. If for whatever reason your PC is super struggling after like, say, two hours. Give it two hours, okay? If your PC is super struggling to load it up, I will have a couple of blank saves available on the internet, but I strongly suggest that you try and load the initial setup yourself because then your save will be unique to you. You won't have similar players to everybody else, yeah? Okay, that that's the word of warning. When you press start game, that's when it freezes essentially and just takes a little bit of time to set up the database. I ain't going to press start game because I don't want to get stuck in that loading screen i'm actually pressing cancel because i've already got a couple of uh, saves including a blank save that i'm gonna upload very shortly to the internet um we'll use we'll use this one instead once you've got through initial setup this is how quick it loads all right just as quick as every other football manager save quite easy now i think before we hit record, I took off all the graphics. Yes, I did. Clever me. So um, without the graphics pack, you'll see this. Uh, real pezzified logos. Disgusting, really. Disgusting. Um, we want to add our own, okay? Back to this directory. Oh, by the way, if you are having getting a blank save from the internet, they go in games. Your .fm files go in games, okay? That's pretty simple. We're going to go to graphics. See that I've got loads of uh, graphic folders here already, but not one that says Dare to Dream on it yet. We're going to sort that out in a second. Um, we're going to add it. So the .raw file is available, was available, made available just before the database dropped. Uh, you're able to find it on my Twitter on discord it, there'll be a click through link on the steam workshop uh, even if you're around uh, discord and you need help from say a mod or an admin they will be able to link it yeah okay what is the other one downloads okay my recent download dare to dream oh god i should purchase winra honestly i should get seven zip seven zip winra they uh, both work, both uh, extract raw files. You want to download uh, one of them programs. Drag and drop, DTD, FM21 graphics into graphics. So it's not a raw file anymore. It's just a folder. Okay, that's it. It's already in. That, that's, that's all that you need to do. Stick the Dare to Dream FM21 graphics folder into graphics. Um, on your game. It will look a little bit different to this. Um, running Renzi V2 as a skin. Uh, if you're new to the game, you'll just have the default skin on. Don't be afraid. Uh, most of the things that I'm showing you, are, if not all of the things, are in the exact same place. Don't panic. I'm only using this skin because it has a big old logo down here. Yeah? So don't worry about it. FM drop down. You got preferences. Might be on overview to start off with. You want to click the advanced tab. This most common, go to interface. And drag it down a little bit until you see the skin subtitle, subsection. I think it's subsection. And you want your little tick boxes to be in this pattern. Untick, tick, untick. So you don't want cache in, cache in. You definitely want to reload the skin when confirming changes. And um, you don't need to show screen IDs. This That's 
something uh, useful for me when I'm doing the graphics pack, actually making the graphics pack. Once you've done these ticks, you, you should have confirmed. Now, obviously, because I already run this, I don't have confirm there, you see. But I can still reload the skin, which I'm going to do because I know in the files we've just applied, just added, dropped new graphics. The config files in them graphics now, once I press reload skin, are going to start attaching the game number, like the game IDs, to the pictures. They're all going to do that. They all do it automatically. You don't need to do anything at this point. You're just waiting. Just chilling. Watch it. That Premier Division is going to look class in about two seconds. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so everything's like ready. It's set up within them folders. Um, so you're... It's very easy to use while when you've dropped it in, okay? Uh, there's a lot of people, a lot of people that have trouble with that graphics pack. Uh, I try to make it as easy as possible. Okay, that's it. And it's as e it really is as easy as that to start a Dare to Dream save. The longest that you're going to be like really uh, waiting for this, not downloading the database, not setting up the database, not applying the graphics, just waiting for it to set up, like waiting for the actual database to load up. That initial loading of an hour, that's where the killer is, yeah? So get prepared for that. Would you like me to flick through the teams? Now, I'm not going to go through into great detail, okay? Um, it's already a, a large, large boy of a video, this one. Uh... And also, I am unbelievably tired. I had a headache, like, uh, this afternoon. And I thought, oh, goodness me, this is the worst time to get a headache. Just as I'm trying to release this uh, database out. But finally, finally, that has subsided. But I do need bed. I know my body is screaming me to get to bed. So let's 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 just crack on. I'm just going to flick through it. If Also, additionally, it's 130 teams. If I go into any real detail about any of the teams, I'm going to be here for a long, long time. And people get bored. And it'll be... totally pointless, this video, in the first place. Because they'll pick one of the first teams that come to mind, you see? So I'm just going to flick through them. I'm going to give them, like, say, I don't know, five seconds screen time. Apart from Ali Sabi, who has been it's already sat on the uh, sat on the screen for about half a half a minute. All right, I'll try and pronounce them as well. Um, but some of them are very difficult to pronounce. You'll see uh, on screen you got year founded, so you see how old uh, certain teams are. It's a shame that like nickname is not here, but you have got the uh, stadium as well. There's references to old Dare to Dream players. Uh, Youth Squad Legends, other cutsy videos, uh, memes, inside jokes, people who contributed to the save in whatever way, making kits, uh, helping out with the database. A lot of information here uh, to make it incredibly, incredibly um, connected. That's not the right word. <laughs> I don't care. Ali Sabia, Art of Panthers, Dadato Dynamo. I do apologize. This is not usually my skin. It's a, it's a bit it's just it's these moments where you have like light blue and white. Why on earth have they made this border? Not black. I don't understand. Dick Hill. Djibouti City. Dudub Balole. Hull Hull Eagles. 
Hull Hull Royals. Horizon Chibuti. Jago Athletic. Morgoita Casual. Oh my goodness. Morgoita Casuals. Obok Parade. Obok Wanderers. Just a word of uh, a note. More, not a word of warning, just a note. Uh, the key players and the hot prospects, just ignore them. This is a this is a test to save, not the actual dare to dream live save. So if you uh, do not make your decision on the key player and the hot prospect, that's that's my advice. Obok Wanderers, Randy United. Sidore Sparks. Your bulky stars. And we get back to Ali Sabia. So we go down to uh, the Djibouti Higher League. This is the second tier. Alali. Dada, Lightning. Alayli, Dada, Lightning. Aerolath. Aerolath, Sunset. And now the Rollers. And Dolly Dragons. Asamo Black Wings. For sure, if you want to like hit any more, like get any more information from this page, pause the uh, video at any time and just read up. Uh, training facilities, youth facilities, uh, they are, I think, flat across the board, set three out of 20. Like year found it's different, definitely. I just I wish there was the nickname. We got some wicked nicknames. So the, the, the Samba Black Wings are of course the Black Wings. But I guess if you set this save up yourself, you have all the time in the world to look at this uh look at this save and really choose uh, your favourite club. Like, give it some thought. Boo your border. Border. They were borderers at one stage, but now they boo your border. The mirror. Gobeto Town. Calaf Sharks. Cartilla Rovers. Give a bit more screen time for Cotilla Rovers. Ued Awea Starlight. Sankel Sundowns. Sporting Deco. Tajora Town. And final one from the Djibouti Higher League, Turdo Warriors. Yeah, there really is a place in Djibouti called Turdo. Uh, third tier is Djibouti Division 1. So um, your original divisions, say, like the Football League in England. Uh, Adeilu start us off here. Ali Adder. Ali Oon Blades. As Ella. Asa Gala. Balho Brutal. Bondara Athletic.
Day Forest. Geheri Dash. Gobeto Cosmos. Guirori. Isle Mucha. Contoli Harriers. Maskaboo Stingers. Seaview Union. Western Garenle. That's the end of Division 1. Uh, just a note as well. Uh, this is a picture from the Vashash save. So don't worry, that is not actually a real player, even though it looks like a real face. Let's not get into it. <laughs> Division 1 finished, finalised, nice and sorted. Uh, well, there was something else that I wanted to talk about. Of course, if you want a little bit more like understanding of where your team is, like... Uh, geography wise we do have a map available on the steam workshop so uh, you'll be able to locate where your team is also there's regional cups in the uh, save so you'll be like grouped into your region there's uh, I think six five or six regions in Djibouti um, and you'll, your team will be in one of them unless you go national team like I do this is Djibouti Division 2, so this is 4th tier. So we're nearly halfway through. Adoyla Rangers. Ambabo Rapid. Balbala United. Bisadiro United. Blue Star. Shabelli Flight. That's Bio Railway. That's Bio Railway. Fagel Rovers. Gorillita. Modatu Zebras. Mahule Coast. New Gold. Ras Sian. Tajora Arrows. Tewo, Tewo Rangers. Get there in the end. Finally, Wadi Wanderers in Djibouti Division 2. Division 3, this is the 5th tier. Okay. Uh, Dagwiru Order. Diamoli Apollos. Danan Rebellion. Djibouti Hawks. Flamingos. Go to Mountains. Godoria Maritime. Grand Bora. Itki Peak. Kasaw Wave. Loyada Lynx. Medaho Victory. Petroleum Strikers.
Rib to formation. Suda United. Total Djibouti. And on to uh, the Djibouti Conference. Okay, another 16 teams here. The bottom two tiers, uh, so lower league one and two, have 17 teams to accommodate the extra two that we put into the database. So we have Aliada Rangers. FC Arta. Danan Lions. Debna. Dick Hill United. Dittilu Evergreen. East Bengal Djibouti. Guista. Kor Angar. Kickers. Lake Asal. The Mudo Buffaloes. Malaud. Rangers, Malud Rangers, Rovers even, Malud Rovers, Port Djibouti, Serpent District, the Weir Whitehorns, on to lower league. So this is now the seventh tier of Djibouti. Okay. Akinde Surprise. Arheba Phoenix. Damajog. Dorale Sport. Dora Athletic. Egalu Union. Galafi Salt. Garbanabo 17. The Great Rift Valley. International Djibouti. Locomotive Guelilli Malho Majestic Mighty Maraule Mahule False Orobor Randa Diamonds Sagalo Gulf. I finally get to uh, Djibouti Lower League 2, so this is the bottom tee up. So if you are looking for that road to glory kind of save. These are the teams that you uh, might be interested in. Agna Renegades. Apape FC. Asakoma. Asamo Town. <clears throat> <clears throat> D 
Dalai Ambition. Not the best of time to get something stuck at the back of your throat. <coughs> oh, that's Bell. That's Bell. Okay. Jebel Moonlight. Jebel Moonlight. Forward Digri. Graptisan Warriors. Hadlock. Hayably Albion. Cabba Cabba. La Asa Rovers. Omar Jagger. Progress Djibouti. Sankal Olympic. Vasama Sunbeam. Yaboki United. Final team. Yeah, um, got a lot of information in this. A hell of a lot of research being put into it. That's it. That's that's the introduction. And um, if you're watching this on what the Steam Workshop will stick that, stick this video on there to, to really help out the setup. If you're watching it there, I do hope that it's helped you. If you're watching on YouTube, just to support the the uh, the project. Thank you ever so much. I didn't think that it would get such a backing. Um, people really want this, and and that warms my heart because, after all, I am kind of feeding the kid inside of me because I always wanted to to make a football league structure like this. I, I wanted to do something like this, and ever since I've been able. To have the powers to do something like this on Football Manager, I, I start working towards what we see now. And it's wicked. It really is nice when we get to this stage, the database is up live, graphic packs done. I can sit back now and enjoy it. And I hope you can too. Thank you ever so much.